It was more powerful than Rome. If any Roman army had actually got here, they would have been absolutely annihilated. Bigger than Constantinople. It was the mother of all cities. Richer than Alexandria. It was the center of the world. Xi'an. One place. 2,000 years. Three great cities. The first, the greatest city in all of China. The second, the greatest city in the world. The third, a fortress so powerful, even 20th century artillery couldn't knock it down. Go behind Xi'an's legendary walls on an incredible journey through power and glory, genius and tragedy. As science discovers the forgotten secrets of this city like no other. southwest of China's capital, Beijing, lies the city of Xi'an. Home to more than four million people. And 8,000 men of clay. The terracotta warriors, buried near Xi'an over 2,000 years ago, a sculpted army guarding China's first emperor for eternity. And Xi'an boasts another ancient wonder. Its massive city wall. More than 600 years old and nearly 12 kilometers long. Long enough to cross the Straits of Gibraltar from Africa to Spain and to touch the bottom of the world's deepest ocean, the Pacific's Mariana Trench. But its massive size hasn't saved it from a mysterious assault. Giant cracks are appearing in the wall's facade. An engineering team keeps careful watch on them, ready to prevent disaster. Monitoring month by month how wide, how far, and how fast the cracks are growing. And color coding them like a terrorist threat. Blue means a crack is stable. Red means it's growing. Yellow means it's growing faster. An orange means it's time to act. After monitoring this crack for a long time, we decided it should be classified as yellow or more. So we have a regular monitor on it. The orange ones we treat as emergencies. We strengthen them with engineering. As they monitor the wall cracks, the team tries to understand what's causing them and how to read the riddle of an ancient man-made marvel. And they're not alone. Under and over modern Xi'an, archaeologists, architects and engineers are rediscovering and reconstructing an incredible tale. A tale of three magnificent cities, long lost to the world. A tale that began over 2,000 years ago. Two tales.
10 BC, China's first emperor dies, and a war begins for control of his domain. The winners found a new dynasty called the Han. The first Han emperor chooses the ancient city of Luoyang for his capital. But one of his advisors boldly argues for a different site. A place called Guangzhou. Guangzhou has fertile fields, eight rivers, and a wall of mountains to keep enemies at bay. And from Guangzhou, Han armies can strike deep into the rich lands to the southwest, conquering an even greater empire. The emperor listens and agrees. At Guangzhou, Han emperors would build the greatest city China had ever seen, out of one of history's strongest and cheapest building materials, dirt. Packed into wooden frames, then tirelessly pounded by thousands of conscripted laborers, the soil of Guangzhou rose into massive walls as hard as rock. Walls so strong that even after 2,000 years, they still dominate the landscape near modern Xi'an. This is a section of Han city wall. It was made up of pounded clay, layer after layer. Each layer is about 8 to 10 centimeters thick. You can see here there are traces of the pounders. Because the soil was very fine, the layers are very thin, so the wall was very strong. Today, build is strengthened concrete by pouring it over an iron framework called concrete reinforcing bar, Weebar for short. 2,000 years ago, Han wall builders compacted earth around a core of logs, the rebar of its time. During the pounding process, the workers inserted wood logs inside. After the wood eroded away, it left a round hole here. The finished walls were over 12 meters high, 16 meters wide, and 25 kilometers long. With 12 gates and a surrounding moat 8 meters wide and 3 meters deep, the Han emperors named their capital Chang'an, meaning eternal peace. But archaeologist Agnes Hsu has a very different view of this place. She's an expert on Han Dynasty architecture, and to her, Han Chung'an was all about power. Think of the city of Chang'an during the Han Dynasty as a combination of a political capital, Washington DC for an example, the commercial capital, New York, and the Vatican, the religious capital. This was a city that rivaled Rome rivaled and surpassed. At 36 square kilometers, Han Chang'an was more than one and a half times the size of Imperial Rome. Trade goods flowed between the two empires along the Silk Road, and ancient texts reveal 